How does a credit card chip work? A credit card chip, also known as an EMV, Europe, MasterCard, and Visa chip, is a small microprocessor embedded within a credit card. It is designed to provide an extra layer of security and prevent fraudulent transactions. Let's dive into the working of a credit card chip in detail. Chip initialization, when a credit card is inserted into a chip-enabled terminal or card reader, the chip is powered on, and an initialization process begins. This process involves establishing communication between the chip and the terminal. Unique authentication, the chip and the terminal engage in a series of cryptographic exchanges to authenticate each other's identity. This helps to ensure that the terminal is legitimate and not compromised. The authentication process also verifies that the card issuer has certified the chip. Cardholder verification, once the chip and terminal are authenticated, the cardholder is required to provide their verification, commonly in the form of a PIN, personal identification number, or a signature. This step confirms that the person using the card is the authorized cardholder. Transaction data encryption, after the cardholder verification, the chip and terminal generate a unique encryption key for the specific transaction. This key is used to encrypt the transaction data, including the purchase amount and merchant information. The encrypted data is then sent to the card issuer for further processing. Offline transaction authorization, in certain situations, like when the card reader is not connected to the internet, the chip may have the capability to authorize the transaction offline. The chip holds specific transaction limits and rules that it can use to determine if the transaction can be approved without the need for immediate online authorization. This helps in situations where an internet connection is not available or the transaction amount is within the predefined limits. Online transaction authorization In most cases, the chip-enabled terminal will connect to the card issuer's network to obtain online authorization for the transaction. The encrypted transaction data is securely transmitted to the issuer, where it is decrypted and verified. The issuer then responds with an approval or decline message, which is sent back to the terminal. Transaction completion Once the approval is received, the chip and terminal complete the transaction process. The chip may generate a unique transaction code that can be used for reference or dispute resolution purposes. The cardholder's account is debited, and the merchant is credited with the transaction amount. Transaction logs The chip also keeps a record of recent transactions within its memory. This information can be accessed by authorized entities, such as the card issuer or the cardholder, to review transaction history or resolve any discrepancies. It is important to note that the chip-enabled credit cards provide enhanced security compared to traditional magnetic stripe cards. The chip technology helps to prevent counterfeit card fraud by generating unique transaction data for each transaction and making it difficult for fraudsters to clone the card. Overall, credit card chips provide a more secure and reliable payment method by employing encryption, authentication, and online authorization processes to protect cardholders and merchants from fraudulent transactions. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.